This video is sponsored by DisabilityQuotes.com. They have been helping residents and also practicing physicians find the right type of disability insurance for the past 20 years. This is a type of insurance that ensures that your income continues in the event that you cannot continue practicing medicine. It's important. So important that I personally have disability insurance. Click on the link below in the description for a free quote from them today. Cynthia, I'm a dialysis nurse here at University Hospital. This is a dialysis machine. Um, this is the dialyzer and it acts as the kidney, mm -hmm. which filters the blood and also removes um, fluids that are in excess within the body. Um, it's pretty simple. We set a time that the patient would run, a goal for the amount of fluid we would remove, and it automatically calculates the hourly rate um, and we can control the fluid removal with this button right here. It's called a UF ultrafiltration rate or ultrafiltration. Um, here is where the fluids enter the dialyzer and here's where the waste is removed. So that blood enters through here, the fluids enter through its counter current flow. And this is where the blood is cleansed and fluids are removed. Okay, so you're an RN but you work in a yes. dialysis unit. Uh, so you have to be an RN to work in dialysis within the hospital. Okay. Any other certifications that you need to become a working dialysis? No, just the nursing here within the hospital. Of course, there's outpatient clinics, so you can be a tech. Okay. That's so, where I started. Gotcha. And these are patients that their kidneys are dysfunctional, mm -hmm. so this machine filters all the waste products out of their uh, body yes. and then puts the blood back into their system. Correct. Okay. And how long does a particular dialysis session usually last? Average is four hours. Four hours. Three times a week. Three times a week, four hours. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome.